This is an auto sleeper Nouveau. And the interesting thing about this one, well, there's lots of interesting things actually, which I will show you, but this is the 60th anniversary model. So there's a couple of intriguing options on this one, which I'll show you when we go inside. What's great about these is they're a coach built so you get a load of space. It's a very upright size, very high roof, but it's 5.7 meters. And that means it's very compact, it's easy to manage, but it also means that you can drive this on an ordinary car license. You don't need a C1 license for this. So that is a nice feature. Now this one's got the premium pack on it and it's got the winter pack. The winter pack is things like extra insulation around the wheel arches. Also heaters under the tanks. So the water tank and the waste tank have got little heaters under them to stop them freezing. If you have a look over here, it's got the built-in uh, leisure gas system. What that means is you don't have to go and get gas bottles, you just fill that up from there. This one here allows you to plug in a uh, satellite TV if you've got that facility at the campsite you're staying at. And that one there allows you to fill the water tank by pumping directly up and into it rather than needing a hose. So you could go and fill, if you're wild camping for example, you could fill from the river and that kind of thing. And then that one there, that plugs in the 240 volt power to give you uh, 240 volt in the vehicle obviously and that one is the cassette for the toilet so you can empty that direct out from there other things that we've got on here it's pre-rigged for bike racks it's also got reversing camera on this one so that's very handy and i do like these lights these are very funky these led lights they've got on here now let's carry on all the way around you can see what i mean it's a big small vehicle if that makes sense awning on this one as well and then if we go inside, I'll show you those couple of extras and a few other bits and pieces. In fact, before we do that, I'll just show you here because this one gives you access. Can I do this with, <laughs> with one hand and holding a GoPro? Let's have a go. Yes, there we go. So that gives you access to a locker that's actually also accessory inside the vehicle. It's underneath one of the seats. That is, of course, lockable. So you have got security there. That one there is another locker that doesn't go inside the vehicle. So that's for things like muddy shoes and that kind of stuff. You can drop them in there and it keeps everything nice and clean inside. And then finally, just on the outside here, that one is 240 volt power. So if you want to plug in something on the outside, you can do. And that was for a barbecue. So it gives you direct access to the gas tank and the water filler is there as well. Anyway, let's head on in. Because it is quite intriguing, this one. So that opens up like so. That one is a bin. And then there's a little button in here that powers the step out. This is absolutely brilliant for a couple. It's redesigned for two people to go touring in. And it's just a load of space in here. I think what we'll do is go right to the front, in fact, and work our way back. Now, the uh, 60th anniversary features are this unique colour scheme to the seats. You can see the design of it there, but also Habitat air conditioning. So it's not just air conditioning through the cab when you're running, but it's actually got proper Habitat air conditioning in here as well. So that is a very nice and very unusual feature on a vehicle like this. Let's come right up to the front then. These seats, as you can see, swivel around. And this is where you've got the screen for the reversing camera. You've got uh, satellite navigation on here as well. It's a manual gearbox, six speed. I think it's 160 horsepower on this one, if I remember rightly. And the other thing you have here, which is quite neat, is these have blinds. You can see that just pull across like this at night time. So they're really easy to deploy. They're all the way around like so. But yeah, that upholstery, <laughs> it's rather funky. And you've got it around places like this as well, which is nice. These all open up and again there's blinds, that's like a fly screen but there's also a night screen tucked in down there as well. If we head on back around, this is all storage up in places like this. I like the funky lighting that they've put along the top as well, that's nice. And this area here then, so you've got two nice big seats, or settees I should say, one either side. Again you've got the 60th anniversary colour scheme in here. What you can do with this is you can infill this across to make a big double bed right across the vehicle and it does that with these pull out sections like this. But what you can also do, of course these seats swivel around, you can swivel these all the way around and have them as two singles then because they of course give you more length that way. Um, so if you do want to have two singles you can do. Opening windows and again you've got the blinds that drop down, that's fly screen if you go that way and it's night screen if you go that way. And if we head on back a bit further again, a couple of things to show you up here. This is neat. It's got a heating system, which I'll show you in a minute, but that one up there allows you to use an app. It's called a Truma 
net box and it means that you can then control your heating from your phone. So you could be in the pub, it's all getting a bit cold and wet, you think, let's stick the heating on in the motorhome and then when we get back to it, it'll be nice and warm. I think that's fantastic. Microwave here, auto sleepers always have these, these little crystal glasses, which is nice, all clipped into place and there's a fridge underneath here as well, but less obvious is this. This pulls out so that when you're cooking, you've got a really big surface area to use there. That's excellent, really nice idea that. If we come down this side then, that one is big hanging locker but also in here there is a table that's a freestanding table so it means you can put that out here for dining but also you can take it outside if you're having a picnic and use it out there but as well as that there's a small so almost like a little coffee table and there's a leg that goes into that which allows it to fit into the floor just there so that's a nice touch and these are illuminated as well as you can see there's a light up on the inside of there drawer underneath that one like so and if we come back here more cleverness because i find the light switch and these are actually touch lights so if you push that one there there we go that pops on like that and there's another one then up there and there's a couple of really clever things to show you in here so that's a really decent size uh, bathroom and it looks like it's just a big wet room but in fact what's neat is that this is a swing section so you can if you're having a shower pull that around like that this one then unclips and comes across there and you've got a completely separate shower area that's absolutely brilliant so that keeps everything here nice and dry you have your shower and then you drop that one back and you're back to a full-size bathroom again and another really nice touch, and it just shows the thought that goes into these, is this. This is so you've been out for a walk, it's been raining, everything's wet. You can bring that across, clip that onto that side, and that allows you to hang your clothes on there. And they can drip dry in there quite happily. Brilliant. Okay, let's reverse out of here. More still to see. So the kitchen then is right at the back. You've got a four burner hob. And what they've done with this is three of these are gas and then that one's electric. So that will run off of the 240 system. When you plugged in these, of course, will run off the LPG tanks. And underneath is a little grill and an oven like so. Loads of storage in places like this. Cutlery in that one, for example. So plenty of places to put things away. Sink is underneath this one. So that just lifts up out of the way like that. And this fellow here is a little uh, draining board thing that you can use. So that's quite nifty. They've even got, that is for your kitchen roll, <laughs> to go onto there. And then again, they've used this area up here for storage. And there's even an extractor fan down underneath here as well with lighting in it. Superb. And that fridge then underneath here and then if we carry on around a little bit further this is the control systems up here so that's the heating control and this one then controls pretty much everything else so we can go into things like uh, tank levels are in here we can go into uh, batteries so you can see the battery levels and the uh, active battery current that's being used the mains current how much is being used and in fact, there's a whole load of stuff. I'm not going to delve too deep into it because I don't completely understand it, but there's a massive load of settings here. You can switch between leisure batteries and vehicle battery, for example. You've got your tank heaters here for your waste and your fresh. Those are those things that I was mentioning to you. And a whole load of stuff that you can set up in here to configure the vehicle exactly how you want it. That's excellent, isn't it? I think that that as I say, for two people, and being a coach built, you've got acres of space, you've got loads of headroom, and yet you can drive on a car license. That is going to take a lot of boxes for a lot of people. Fantastic. I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to park myself down here and say huge thanks to Nickwell Motorhomes. They've organised this tour, and huge thanks, of course, to you all for watching. We will look forward to catching you on another one of these motorhome tours really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.